All right, shalom, shalom, March 15, 2022. This is that week. In fact, oh, today the 14th, March 14th, 2022. Um, I'm thinking about tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm thinking about tomorrow with Jay Powell. Uh, what is what is the Federal Reserve going to do uh, with interest rates? If they're going to raise it or not. I can't go into the whole financial thing. Only thing I can tell you is that uh, by the end of March, uh, Putin should have all his uh, goals done. Okay, that, that I'm saying that because that's what Putin is saying. The problem we have is. The European Union, the United Nations, is trying to find a counter to his actions. They're not just going to let this sweep off into the night, okay? They're not. And then you have to remember, if he is done with his goals at the end of March, you still got sanctions going on, okay? And... A lot of places they're not gonna lift those sanctions. Oh, you 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 done with the wall? We are just gonna lift. We're gonna lift the sanctions. No, uh, uh. I'm telling you, this is a progression of time. Progression of time. What do I mean by that? Meaning that this is going to escalate. And I'm hearing too many pundits on the TV, people thinking that Ukraine uh, is something to root for. God bless the people that is going through this tribulation in their life at this time. But the birth pains are ramping up. They, they coming strong now. All right. We still got volcanoes going on. We just had a volcano go off what last week. Okay, <laughs> we still got earthquakes going on, floods happening. Australia was was flooded again. Um, all of these things is uh, exacerbating the problem. Okay, we don't know what the response Russia is going to do. We see that they're serious. That if they if uh, the United Nations start bringing in weapons, that it's going to be a target. So that may that may mean they hit Poland. You understand? Or they hit uh, other places like um, uh, Norway, Sweden, places that are being used used as strategic um, uh, launch pads. Of course, they're not going to wait for them to come into Ukraine. That wouldn't be smart. Um, you would probably hit the facilities that are that is coming. That is coming from. And that's what Russia said. Now, there's obviously been some diplomatic cable <laughs> that went to the United States about Taiwan and China. And I'm sure that China is ready to make their stance. Uh, as you've seen in the picture that was on the video, the places that voted no at the United Nations are the places in the Dmitry Dudeman prophecy. So that tells me they have uh, Russia's back or their neutral stance. But then you also have Africa. And this is for those who think that they're going to go over to Africa. Africa is a war zone. Okay? There was a lot of places in Africa who did not vote yay or nay for the war. That means when war break out, the resources are up for grabs. You have to remember that Poland, France, Sweden, Germany... These places have major control over resources in Africa. For the people who say they think they're going over to Africa to 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 escape the tribulation. Huh? 
The fourth seal is a fourth of the earth, right? A fourth, that's 25% of the earth is going to be destroyed with famine, sword, pestilence, and beast. Okay? A fourth part. If we look at the fourth part, just being from Jerusalem being the center, and a fourth part, a fourth part will be just in this area. But it says the earth. So that fourth part can be in diverse places. It could be 2% here, 3% there, 5% here, 8% over there. You know what I mean? It, it don't have to be all in one area, even though it starts over there. If you ever heard the conspiracy view of history, these are the actors and players. The Most High has already told the end from the beginning. They just playing their role. Going now, going after the beast. The beast system is the United Nations, is the European Union, and those subsidies, sub, uh, uh, sub, subgroups, and entities that is controlled by this power. Thank you, everyone who is new to the channel. I'm still going through the global trends 2040. Uh, uh, you can get that on PDF, but I will be discussing it more because uh, you have to have your eyes open. Okay, You're not going back to normal. This is not back to normal time. All right. We're in the tribulation and it's going to be knocking pains. Okay. And soon, you may see a climate lockdown. Uh, especially after tomorrow, after we see what the Federal Reserve does and what they say for the financial situation. Now, Russia put out a statement uh, that they will not open up their markets until September. Okay? Until September. That's a that's a long time in the financial markets. So say Putin get done with his his uh goals in March. Sanctions are still beyond. That's an economic warfare. Sanctions back and forth. Russia not sending no um wheat because wheat comes out of Ukraine. Wheat comes out of Russia. That's in the price of wheat up. Just Google products made with wheat. Okay? <laughs> what products are made with wheat? Your pastas. Um, of course, you know bread. But your cookies. You know what I'm saying? These things are going to be uh, not available. So, think about eating fruits and vegetables where you can find them. And find yourself a local uh, farmer. If you don't have access and you're in the city, you need to find a way to grow something. Now, during the springtime, I like bok choy because it grows, but you eventually probably get tired of eating bok choy. Okay, it's only but so many ways you can eat bok choy. <laughs> um, that's it for that. I will uh, be doing another video soon. About the global trends because we have to talk about it so you can be in a mindset to see the changing uh, times ahead and what you can do to prepare yourself especially if you are here after this war okay yes America will be dragged in the war we are in World War 3 they're just gonna play it out okay Proxy wars can always turn into hot wars. May the most high bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Lift up your continents. Lift up his continents on you and give you peace. Shalom.